Hey, I'm Mike Dern of Green Day. My name is Billy Joe Armstrong. Hi, I'm Trey Cool, and I'm at Guitar Center. I'm obviously a Guitar Center. I'm at Guitar Center. Won't you take me close to you? These days, my favorite is my new Gretsch USA Custom Kit. It is outstanding, sounds really good. My new Gibson guitar that I just did is basically a, um, a Les Paul Jr. It's uh, got one volume and one, one tone knob. My Fender bass, 51 Tele body. See, we got the badass two bridge on there. Yeah. Musicians. My mom had a roommate that was uh, a guitar player. He'd show me how to play a couple things here and there, and then uh, lo and behold, you know, he had a sleepover at Billy's house one day. We're like, hey, let's learn some songs, some songs together, and the next day we had a sort of band. <laughs> I think my first musical memory was probably when I was about uh, four and a half years old. I wanted to learn how to play guitar, but my hands were a little too small, so I had to start taking the piano. I say if you're going to play music, you know, and, and you're young and getting into it, play with your friends, you'll have like-minded interests. Don't waste time playing with somebody just because they have a van or a PA. I think when I saw the American Idiot musical come to life on stage uh, on Broadway and to hear our album brought to life in a different way, that was probably a, one of the most moving musical moments. My heroes are, you know, Pete Townsend and Keith Moon and uh, the Ramones and, you know, uh, the Sex Pistols. Everything was just pushed forward and, uh, you know, uh, total empowerment. You know, it's sparking that the creativity in somebody young that wants to dig deeper and find out where it comes from and and uh, when they realize how easy it is to start uh, I think that's what inspires people once they get their hands on an instrument. I think anybody that says that rock and roll can't change lives I think they're full of shit. It's, uh, it can't really change mine.